with Jalen Brown now out for the remainder of the season, the Celtics' playoff hopes have been dashed. Let's dig into the new look for the Boston team. Hi guys, it's Devin Howard. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to the Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Jalen Brown will officially miss the remainder of the season after tearing a ligament in his left wrist. The injury requires surgery and will officially prevent him from joining his team on the court in the postseason. This is a huge blow to the Celtics and to Jalen Brown, of course. He was having a remarkable year with the team, averaging career bests in points, assists, steals, field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and free throw percentage. Safe to say he was pretty on fire, and this also cuts short his first all-star season of his career. It sucks for the team as well because without him, they're down a solid, valuable player. Despite having a talented lineup, the Celtics have struggled to find consistency. They sit at number seven in the Eastern Conference, which is a surprise considering the talent they have on board. With Jalen, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart, and Kemba Walker, the team should be in a better position at this point in the season. But now without Jalen, it seems pretty clear that their playoff dreams have died. Prior to Jalen's injury, the Celtics had been hoping to reach the postseason with a healthy roster and an optimistic outlook. Brad Stevens was confident that they'd be in playoff rotation, especially if they could keep everyone healthy and available. So he loaded up his five best perimeter players with a lot of minutes, split the center playing time between Robert Williams and Tristan Thompson, and then gave smaller playing time to the rest of the roster. And despite a series of frustrating losses for the team, they were still hopeful that they could regain that competitive edge. But that was all before when Jalen Brown was still on the roster. Now that he's out, the Celtics will likely be a first round exit, if they can even make it there at all. According to Basketball Reference's playoff probabilities prediction, the team went into Monday with just under a 72% chance of finishing in the 7th or 8th place in the Eastern Conference. If they did end up in the 7th or 8th spot, they'd have to win one of two playing games in order to make it to the first round of the playoffs. And then after that, it would be an uphill battle. The Eastern Conference is threatening and competitive this season, with the Bucks, Nets, and Sixers all playing like they have something to prove. And the Celtics are going to have a hard time going up against powerhouse teams like that without one of their star players on the roster. If they still want to compete, the Celtics will probably have to put Evan Fournier in the starting lineup. Aaron Naismith is likely going to play more minutes. He's been impressive lately, so this could help the team quite a bit. And then they're going to have to rely more heavily on their backup players. It's going to have to be an all-around effort from everyone on the squad. But Jason Tatum is likely going to be the guy bearing the brunt of the burden on his back. It's unfortunate because the roster doesn't have an adequate replacement for Jalen's amazing combo of athleticism, scoring, and defensive prowess. When he and Jason Tatum are on the court, they're a pretty dynamic duo, and now Jason will have to carry the weight for the both of them. So it's all really just an unfortunate event, especially for somebody like Jalen, who's been able to really stay pretty healthy throughout his career. He's not a fragile player, he doesn't get injured often, in fact, he's never missed more than 12 games in a season. But now, with the shortened off season and less time to recover between games during the season, it just seemed to wear him down a little bit. He's been dealing with knee soreness, and he recently sprained an ankle, but that never held him back. He still played in 58 games for the Celtics. He's played through the pain. In fact, after he fell on his left wrist in a game against OKC, he was visibly hurt, but he played in three more games after that until the team decided to shut him down. Perhaps the Celtics just leaned a little too heavily on him this season. They put a lot of pressure on him and Jason to fill gaps in the roster as they dealt with depth problems, COVID cases, and and injuries. Unfortunately, things just didn't work out for the Celtics. Luckily, if everyone gets the rest time they need, they can come back next season looking new, improved, and most importantly, healthy. The squad is talented. They just need to find their groove and make sure they don't overwork their star players. What do you guys think is going to happen to the Celtics in the play-in tournament? What about Jalen's future? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble, and I'll see you guys later.